I honestly have no desire to make a Windsor chair. It's one of those styles that just, it doesn't intrigue me. I don't call me odd, but uh, yeah, I don't really want to build one. But when all of the difficult work is done and it's just a straight kit, well, I, I can put one together. So today we're gonna be making a Windsor chair the easy way. This is a kit from Colonial Homestead and I'll try and leave information down below. So we're heating up the high glue. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Oh my. It doesn't go in there. Oops. Oh, uh, that's tab C into slot A. Oh, there's tab A. Let's do that instead. There we go. Now, wiggle it all together. Trippy glue. Now we need to smooth those down.
Need to sharpen that up. Inside we've got a bag <laughs> and a marble. Blue. Got blue. Look at that. Yeah, not something that woodworker does that often.
So there you have it, a chair kit. Uh, yeah, I told people time and time again, I'm probably never gonna make a Windsor chair because it's, it's one of those things that just doesn't intrigue me. But a kit, I, I, I can do that. Any schmo can pound one together and have a really nice, pleasing thing. Uh, this is actually a kit from Colonial Homestead. Uh, he offers them uh, with a solid seat as well as the laminated like I have here. Uh, really cool kit and it comes together very, very well. Uh, if you haven't seen the videos from Colonial Homestead, I'll leave links to those down below. Um, he does some really cool things there. He sells antique tools, uh, but he also makes chair kits. Uh, so I'll leave information on how you could order one down below if you want to get your hand on it. It's a great way to get into the actual function of a Windsor chair. And then if you really want to take it a step farther, you can do the rest of it yourself. But a chair kit is a really nice uh, way of to doing it. So yes, I hope you like this video. If you have any other thoughts, ideas, concerns, things I could do better, um, want to critique my milk pink methods, then let me know those down in the comments down below. I do read through all of them and I answer as many as I can get to. Thank you for that. Uh, honestly, putting comments down below, hitting like, share, subscribing, it helps the channel. It gets us in front of more people. It's just an all around great way to say thank you. So thank you for that. Also, there are a bunch of people scrolling over there. They are the patrons on Patreon, and they are the ones who are literally keeping this channel going because without patrons on Patreon, members on the channel, uh, we wouldn't be here. We are completely sponsored by you, the viewers. You keep the lights on, you keep the videos coming, you give us ideas for other videos, and thank you. Without members and patrons, we wouldn't be here. We're completely sponsored by you. So I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. When you come to my shop, I say, uh, welcome here, make yourself at home and uh, put together your own chair.